Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your comedy guy. Today we've got a great interview with Mr. I think, what did you say your name is? My name is Mr. Pessimist. Uh, did you just say Mr. Pessimist? I said my name is Mr. Pes Pessimist. Uh, sir, that doesn't sound real good. You know, we're live on the radio here, and a lot of our people on YouTube would like to know, why are you called Mr. Pessimist? Because my life sucks. Uh, did you say your life sucks? How does your life suck? Well, you know, I woke up this morning, and it was a bad day. Uh, sir, it's early in the morning. It's only 9 o'clock, and you're already having a bad day. Uh, Mr. Pessimist, every day is a bad day, and I just don't understand why it's so miserable. Uh, sir, let me tell you what. Life isn't that bad. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy, and I have a really good day most of the time. And, you know, my mom woke me up, when, you know, as a kid. And she said, Gary, today's a good day, so make it that way. So you should make it a good day. Uh, I'm a pessimist, and I think every day's got a, 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 a bad day coming. If you don't believe that, just look at my life. I lost my home. I lost my car. I lost my wife. I lost. I lost. Well, sir, it sounds like your attitude's got a lot to do with that. Have you ever had anybody tell you that you might want to change your attitude? Well, you know, I could probably change my attitude, but it probably wouldn't work. Uh, I, bad things always happen to me and always make bad decisions. Ah, uh, poor me. Uh, sir, poor baby, I feel bad for you. Oh, yeah, everybody feels bad for me. But you know what? After a while, I get on people's nerves. What do you mean you get on people's nerves? Are you telling me that your attitude really makes people want to get away from you? Like I feel like right now? Uh, what did you say? I said, <laughs> I mean, so do you have bad days all the time? People don't want to be around you? Yeah, I go into work and when I had a job and, you know, I, I was always thinking that, you know, people would always say, well, the glass is overfilling and half and overfilling and overfull. And I would say, well, yeah, it's, it's probably half empty for me. You know, life, it sucks. And if you, you know, don't believe that, I can show you what's so bad about it. Man, you're starting to make me feel really kind of sad and kind of frustrated. I don't, I don't I don't know if this is a good conversation, Mr. Pessimist. So how did you become a pessimist? Well, when I was a little boy, you know, my mom used to tell me I was never going to be anything. I was never going anywhere in life, and life was just really bad and really rough. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? You mean your mom told you such negative things? How did that make you feel? Well, it made me feel like... I don't know. Everything has always been pretty bad. You know, I don't see any silver lining in anything, and there's no such thing as a beautiful day, because I am Mr. Pessimist. <laughs> Sir, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's so sad. It it makes me... You sound pathetic. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to be rude or anything, but, man, you're making me feel like, oh, crap. Maybe today ain't such a good day. Yeah, I told you. I just grow on people. I say things to people that make them feel really uncomfortable and people always want to run away from me because ever since I was a kid my mom called me a pessimist she said more you were like a past more than anything and a pessimist you just always so negative and, and well how was your mom was she a very negative person oh yeah my mom was queen pessimist she was so so full of pessimism that she thought everything was coming against her and she was going to have a bad day. Every day is a bad day. Do you think that maybe your mom might have had some psychological issues? You think maybe she might have had some problems? Oh yeah, mom was full of problems. She was mostly full of shit. Uh, sir, you can't say stuff like that on the air. So are you telling me that your mom was full of crap and she was always so negative and you think she may have had some brain damage or some issues? Oh uh, yeah, mom was Mrs. Pessimist. She wouldn't even go to the doctor because the doctor 
doctor would tell her everything was okay. Uh, so your do her doctor would say her health was okay, and she didn't want to hear that. She would always tell the doctor, no, I feel like, I feel bad. Life, I'm going to die young. Life is terrible. And, you know, you, you can't, you know, you can't tell me that I'm going to be better. Mom was terrible. She was always very pessimistic. She was always saying that, this, you know, you can't do this. You can't do that. You'll never be anything. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. This is a pathetic hell. Oh, this is killing me. I'm listening to this poor guy, Mr. Pessimist. So I can kind of see where you got your pessimism from. Oh, yeah, I got it from my mom. Well, what happened to your dad? Was your dad around? Oh, no, mom scared him off a long time. After I was born, she looked at me and she said, this just ain't going to work. This kid's not going to be anybody. He's not going to go anywhere. And my dad was like, oh, crap, I can't be around you. And, Sir, I'm going to tell you what, that's pathetic. That's really, really sad. Big old bear hugs. Well, thank you, but it probably won't work. So are you telling me if you you have you ever had therapy? Yeah, I had therapy, but the doctor, you know, he, he kind of after a while he dropped me. I said, well, why did he drop you? Well, he said I was too pessimistic and I was had a bad attitude and I wasn't never going nowhere with my attitude. Uh, that's terrible. It sounds just like what your mom said. Yeah, he said I was too pessimistic and that my life sucked only because I had made it that way. And my pessimism would make me have a worse life if I didn't change. Well, sir, let me just tell you something. Big old bear hugs. I'm going to tell you something. They call me Mr. Smiley a lot of the time. And I'm going to tell you, it can get better. You can do anything you put your mind to. Because that's what my mom told me. And she also told me she loved me. Did your mom at least tell you she loved you? She did. She told me she loved me to get the hell away from her most of the time. She told me she loved me to move out. She loved me if I wasn't her kid. She said she loved me if I would just get out in front of the damn TV. Oh, poor thing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you've had such a pathetic life. Yeah, I'm Mr. Pessimist because everything's been perfect for me. I lost my dog. He just ran away not too long long ago. Well, why do you think your dog left you? Well, I guess I wasn't feeding him. <laughs> Sir, you got to feed animals. You got to take care of them. Well, you know, I, I was like my mom, you know, she never did really give me much feeding and food. I'd have to go hunt for it and go look for it. So I figured the same thing with my dog. <laughs> Sir, how long did you have the dog? I had it for a week. <laughs> That's terrible. So your dog figured you out in a week? Oh, yeah. They call me Mr. Pessimist. Life sucked, and I'm just not going to be able to help anybody. Well, how did you lose your wife? How long were you married? A week. A week? You were married for a week. Well, how did you get her? Well, I went to this pessim pessimist anonymous thing, and there's a bunch of pessimists there that hang out. Nobody, they never got anything done because they never figured that life would get any better. Better. They were too pessimistic. Uh, are you kidding me? That sounds terrible. So, well, so you met your wife through uh, pessimistic, uh, like NA or AA? Oh, yeah, they were full of crap and they hated life. They always figured that life was going to be too short and they weren't going to live long. So why care? Uh, sir, I am so sad. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I'm your, your announcer and your sales guy. And I'm going to tell you what. Being a pessimist doesn't make you feel good inside. It doesn't give you any direction. It, it doesn't motivate you. Yeah, I'm not motivated much. I don't got much direction. And I will tell you what, life just sucks. Oh, sir, that's not true. Life is what you make it. Well, I made it really bad. I made some really bad choices because I was so pessimist, uh, pessimistic. Well, sir, let me just ask you this one question too. So you had a wife for a week, you had a dog for a week and you lost him because of your best, you being a pessimist. What else has happened to you? Well, you know, I tried to go to college and everything, but those people didn't want much to do with me. They said that I was too pessimistic and, and if you don't try, you're not going to be successful. And 
they told me I'd have to try, and I was like, I didn't want to try. I didn't want to. Well, did you go to school when you were a kid, and how did that work out for you? Nobody wanted to be around me because I was always complaining, telling everybody how bad things were and how everything was just against me and against the world, and life was sucks. Well, how many friends did you have? I had one. Well, how long did you have your friend for? Uh, a one week. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. What do you mean you only had a friend for one week? Well, he wasn't a pessimist like me, and I just, he just didn't want nothing to do with me after a week. He said, I, I, he said, I had a problem. I needed some help, and I need, I had an attitude, and I was a pessimist. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I am a pessimist. I, I, this is me. I'm just a really sick person. Well, guys. Let me tell you what, we've had a weird conversation today. I'm sorry that you're having such a weird life, Mr. Pessimist. Do you think that, that you could change your life? Nah, I don't think I'll ever change my life. Life will always suck. Well, big old bear hugs with a big old smile, sir. I hope life gets better for you. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's your question? Have you ever thought about getting more therapy from somebody who might listen to you? Nah, it probably won't work out. I probably wouldn't be able to get no help because I'm pathetic. <laughs> sir, you do sound pathetic. You sound sad and scary. Do you feel like that you might commit suicide? Well, I don't think I could do it right. I don't think I could kill myself right. You know, I bought a gun and tried to shoot myself with it, but you know what? The damn gun, it seemed like it just wouldn't work right, and it was not the best gun, and the bullets weren't great. Well, it sounds like to me, sir, you just got to change your attitude. You need somebody to give you some love and tell you you can do anything you put your mind to. So I'm going to tell you, uh, Mr. Pessimist, uh, you can do anything you put your mind to. Nah, I appreciate that, but you know what? I don't believe it, and I just, I don't care anymore, and I'm just, uh, I don't care. Life sucks, and then I'm going to die. Uh, sir, big old bear hugs, big old smiles. Let me tell you what, you're going to be okay. Uh, no, I'm not, because my name is Mr. Pessimist, and nothing ever works right for me. Well, hey, guys, you heard it from Mr. Pessimist. Please don't be a pessimist, because it sounds like being a pessimist, it really, really sucks. It really does. My life sucks. Oh, crap, man. I can't wait to get off of this phone call. Guys, if you're out there and if you're having a good day, today's a good day for a good day. Stay away from those people that are so pessimistic. Yeah, stay away from people like us. We'll take all the joy out of your life. Okay, guys, you heard it. Uh, say goodbye to Mr. Pessimist. Uh, I don't care about you. Y'all take care, I guess, because life sucks. Uh -huh, you heard it from Mr. Pessimist. Damn, I feel like I need to get me some reinforcements and have a better day. All right. Oh, life sucks. All right.